What's up everybody welcome back to the course in our previous video we have already learned that how we can create our very first prompt by using mid journey and the process is literally very simple we have also learned some of the basic options with which you can interact with the mid journey bot such as upscaling options and variations along with the rerolling option that you can see right here in this video we are going to learn about the parameters that you can use along with your text prompt to make it more interesting so in this video we are going to cover aspect ratio text prompt in mid journey without wasting any time let's get started all right so here we are we have generated all of these amazing images in our previous video now for this video let's get started with a new prompt all right so here our theme is we want to create a desktop wallpaper which has specific ratios of 16 is to 9. By default, we have seen that all of these images that we have generated in our previous video is a complete square or one to one ratio. The length and the breadth is equal. Here we are going to generate some images by using aspect ratio parameter of the mid journey in the resolution or the aspect ratio in which we want and which is 16 is to 9. So in order to create a desktop wallpaper, here we have written imagine prompt and now we are going to specify the value which is let's say a waterfall waterfall from heaven all right so this is a simple prompt and a little bit like waterfall from heaven so this is what we want it to create now let's hit the enter key okay so these are all of the images four different images that mid January has created for us which is a heaven uh, a waterfall from the heaven so it creates this kind of image now here we can see by default the aspect ratio is not of a desktop wallpaper it is just of a simple image that you can use anywhere in social media or we can say that it is in square format but we want it into 16 is to 9 ratio so for that what we can do is we have to just give the same prompt imagine waterfall from heaven and we need to add our aspect ratio for that we just have to write double dash and we have to write AR followed by the ratio in which we want our image. So we will specify 16 is to 9. And that's all you have to do. And just press the enter key and wait. Now what this bot will do for you is it is going to create same images, but we have given the command another time. So it will maybe provide us the same output or it may provide some new output. But the thing is, the resolution is now changed from the default square resolution it is now changed to the one that we have specified right here so here we can see again four more images has been created for us and this time the aspect ratios are not as the previous one instead they are what we have given to it and when i'm looking at all of these images the most appealing to me is this one which is the second one and the third one both of them have details in the water and the mountain curves and everything. The total overall composition that I like is third one. Here we are going to give this command, which is upscale uh, three. So just give the command and it is going to upscale this image for us. And now that you know how you can just specify the aspect ratio, if you want, you can just change the ratio to whatever you want based on your needs. Such as if you want to post it on Instagram, you can put the vertical ratio. And if you want to make it a wallpaper or a thumbnail or just anything for your online contents, then you can use 16 is to 9 ratio. 4 is to 3 ratio is also very good for some images. And we are going to also see that how we can use that ratio within a minute. So until this process is happening, let's create a new prompt uh, and we can write imagine, imagine a dark forest. So let's give it a theme that we want and followed by our arguments. So this time we will write the ratio to the four is to three and let's see what kind of image it will create for us. All right. So as you can notice, the upscaling task require almost two to three minutes in order to complete and below our new task that we have just assigned is ready for us and it is in the working progress so you have to just wait or you can just fast forward the video uh, 10 or 20 seconds ahead but it is almost complete so stay tuned okay so both of the works has been done concurrently 
and here we have two messages which is our work is ready all right so let's see this thing which we have upscaled this is the image that it has created for the waterfall for heaven into 16 is to 9 ratio but we can see the details are not that good so let's further develop it and upscale it to the max by using the beta upscale option and see what is the difference between the basic upscale that we have done by just clicking on the u3 now we have two different options one is light upscale another is beta upscale so what we are going to do is first let's upscale it to the lightest version and then we will uh, beta upscale the same image and we will compare them side by side in order to see what are the differences between them so let's click on beta upscale also so that we can have two jobs and they will be completed within few minutes and we will see what is the basic difference between the light up scale and the beta up scale till this process are happening let's move back and here we can see this is the dark forest theme uh, that we have given and we can see successfully this time the aspect ratio is neither the default square neither 16 is to 9 it is what we have specified 4 is to 3 by this example we can clearly see whatever aspect ratio you want to give it you can easily give it by just using an additional parameter which is dash dash ar okay so this is for demonstration purpose but the last thing that we are going to do in this video is compare the file sizes and the resolution difference between the light up scale and the beta up scale all right so both of them are almost completed the first one here we have upscaled light and this is the upscaled beta okay so now we can see the things are good but still there is not that much clarity that we want which is high resolution but for now let's save this image and let me place it to my this folder which is our art so here we can write let's rename it also we will write light up scale and then we will save this image which is much more clear in the looking the sharpness is a little bit better so we will save it as beta upscale and click save now let's do a side by side comparison of both of them so all right so here you can see within this folder i have both of these two images and we are going to see what is the difference between them so this is the very first image that we have used the light upscale and this is the image where we have upscaled is by using the beta version we can see one thing clearly which is the sharpness and the detail is much more in the beta upscale now let's see by their properties so let's check it from here and let's open it also all right so here we can see this is the light upscale and this is the beta upscale and we can clearly notice the size of light upscale is approx 2.55 megabytes which is a quite lot and the size of beta upscale is really to the next level as compared to the light upscale it is nearly 7 megabytes which means the quality and the details that it contains within this version of images are really high if you know some basic editing skills you can edit it and take it to the further next level and along with that one more thing that we need to see is the resolution here we can see the resolution or the dimensions of light up scale is 2048 by 1152 which is almost 2k and the beta upscales on the other hand produces the image of 2688 into 1536 resolution and other things are just similar but it contains more pixel and high quality so we can see if you want some really nice images we are going to use the beta upscale feature not the light up scale and if we do a side by side comparison of the images and see if the, all of the elements are same or the beta upscale added some new elements then we can clearly notice that all of the things are just same only the difference is of the quality so these are the differences between the light up scale and the beta upscale in the mid journey and now you know that how you can give customized arguments or the prompts for the desired aspect ratio that you desired for so this is all for this video where we have learned about how we can set custom aspect ratio for our images in the mid journey Along with that, we have also done a detailed comparison between the light up scale and the beta up scale. So if you have any sort of doubt and questions, then please do ask in the Q&A section of this course. If you like this video, then please leave a positive review. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.